Hey everyone and welcome back for some of my favorite fall DIYs, easy to make with your Cricut or Silhouette. These autumn decor ideas are perfect for home and wedding projects this holiday season. If you are new here, hi, my name is Carly and I'm a wedding stylist in Colorado. I also make DIY tutorials here on YouTube and over on TikTok to hopefully bring some inspiration to your projects. Thank you so much for supporting my channel by subscribing and make sure to check out the fonts and supplies listed below in the video description along with a monthly font subscription discount from Creative Fabrica which includes all of the fonts featured in today's video. For our first project we have these fun mini pumpkins we are going to be using as place card holders. You can use real pumpkins but it is a tad early in the season as I'm making this video so I got these artificial ones from Amazon. Out of the packaging they are pretty bright so I dull them down with some copper and champagne colored paint and using this round brush was perfect to get a thin layer of paint on these and getting in all of those cracks and crevices. I started painting the tops of these and added paint to the sides and kind of spread that throughout. Also including the stem so it all matches. These mini pumpkin place cards are such a quick and easy project to bust out for a dinner party. I'm actually going to be using these for our Thanksgiving dinner when my family comes to town. Um, or for a wedding, I think these would look awesome just right in the middle of your plate settings. So you can get different sizes on Amazon and they actually come in different colors as well. Black, white, gold. So you can get whatever size and color that you need if you are wanting to forego the real pumpkins. And I will say with the real pumpkins, um, I know there's, at least in Colorado, our pumpkins don't last all that long here, especially like the little ones. So this is a project, if I was doing this for a wedding and I was making like 100 or 200, I would definitely be going with the artificial pumpkins just so I can make this project like the month before after I get my RSVPs. If I had real pumpkins, I would be kind of limited to making them, you know, like right before the wedding, like the week of the wedding. So while I let this completely dry, I hop over to my Cricut Maker and cut my cardstock place cards using a light grip mat. So to finish these off, I use a simple loop of twine to secure the place cards to the pumpkin, making sure it isn't too tight to bunch up the cardstock. For our second fall DIY, we are making another quick and easy place card. I actually wish that I had made these for my own wedding. My wedding was September 16th in Colorado, and I think these would have been perfect for our dinner, especially if we glued or taped the place card to the pine cones, just in case a heavy wind because our dinner was outside. But I just love the look of these. I think they were so classy and blend in with the natural decor, but also serve its purpose as a place card. So these pine cones are from my backyard, but if you need a bunch for a wedding or event, Amazon has good options that I will link below. This might be a better route than picking them up off the ground like I did, as they are smaller sizing without any critters included. If you've been around my channel a while, you know I love these small chalkboard signs I got from Michaels years ago, but when it came to needing my own custom size chalkboard sign for a seating chart, I wasn't sure where to get one, so I just made one myself. 
doing chalkboard signs is a great alternative to the full wood signs right now because wood is just outrageously expensive and the chalkboard wasn't that bad and I made the seating chart just like I do my other wood and acrylic seating charts cutting my design into pieces that I can cut under my Cricut and just leaving some room around the edges to add that wood piece. So we have the wood border that's made out of stained 1x2s, but the rest of the sign is just a chalkboard blank from Home Depot, and it is right by where I buy the wood blanks. If you guys have seen my seating chart tutorials, like we actually go into Home Depot and buy the wood blanks, and then I cut them back at home. But this chalkboard sign, I left the size that I bought it in, a 24 by 48 so it was perfect for this project. So this seating chart I actually made last year and it was in the middle of the summer so I did not have time to set up my camera and actually film this. I think I actually made this at like it was midnight or one in the morning like I just had to get stuff done. Um, but I wanted to record this somehow because I thought it was going to turn out awesome. But if you guys want a full in-depth tutorial on how we cut the wood, stain the wood um, and all of that let me know and my husband and I can work on that. So once I drop the chalkboard into its frame, I use this framing tool that I got with Brad Nails to secure it. And of course, as a true crafter, making a huge mess along the way. So I'm sure you can tell, but this is my first time using this tool. It's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Just takes a little bit of time, but it made the chalkboard super secure in the frame. So when you hold it up, the chalkboard isn't going to come back out the backside. So it's basically going to look just like a regular picture frame that we built for this sign. So of course this is a seating chart for a wedding, but I'm thinking about making one of these signs for a Thanksgiving menu, just like a smaller size, or maybe even like a welcome sign out of our front door. You know how people are doing like the taller, skinnier signs. Um, this is just so easy to customize and make whatever size you need. I've gotten a ton of questions about painting acrylics. Of course, most of my YouTube is different styled painted acrylic signs, but I have never done a spray painted tutorial thus far. This paint, I will say in particular, this metallic paint, you do have to be super careful with because it can rub off and chip easily. I just made sure that these were wrapped really well for delivery and I was super careful setting them up, but I've also used other more glossy style spray paint that were much easier to use. These do work better for indoor events because if you have them like hanging on a copper sign outside, you can somewhat see through the sign and it does look a tad splotchy doing it this way. But if it's indoors or against a wall, you are going to be totally fine going this route. So this is a great alternative to just buying already colored acrylic. For instance, my plastics company that I order these from, they do not carry copper colored acrylic, at least, you know, some that looks like this. I think they do have like more of a mirrored style and they do have some different colors, but whenever I need to color match to something, I have to paint it myself. So the spray painting was definitely a great alternative to do it super quick and just to get that completely solid color against the whole acrylic acrylic piece. And you know, a wedding or your party is not going to be complete without some type of florals and incorporating dried florals is such an easy way to accomplish those fall vibes. Some of these examples from past weddings I worked are my favorites. So mix with the dried florals with the fresh, but I also love the classic look of stalks of pompous grass. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you some fall decor inspiration. Let me know any questions that you have down in the comment section down below, and I will see you again soon.